for books is changing and some major things happening. There was a recent convention and gathering up in New York City. And joining us now on screen from his offices in Puerto Rico is Dr. Joaquim de Posada. He was there and he's got some information to share with us. Joaquim, good to have you today. Hello, Terry. How are you doing? Well, I'm doing just fine, and I understand you're back now in your offices there in uh, Puerto Rico, and you were there at the convention, at the expo going on. Tell us a little bit about what was happening in New York this last weekend. Yes, yes, Terry. I, I find uh, Expo Book Expo America, I find it a fascinating place to go. I think that every speaker uh, should go, every author or want to be author should go to Book Expo. Uh, even though it was maybe a little bit smaller than years uh, ago, uh, it's still a, a tremendous event. Uh, I saw many of our friends, uh, uh, Dan Pointer was there, uh, good old Dan, and, uh, and Monica Walford, and uh, many, many, many people that I, that I know. I, I found, uh, you know, I looked at, at several parts of the book fair, and one that caught my interest is the part where they have agents literary agents, where there are little tables, uh, writers make appointments to them, with them, to see if the, the agents will uh, take on their, their book or their manuscript. Oh, so the agents were and, right uh, there, uh, being able to see authors and potential authors right there on the spot. Exactly. And they would make appointments, and like every hour, a, a writer would come and would sit down, I would try to pitch the agents to see if that agent uh, would take uh, the, the, the manuscript. But what I found very interesting is that sometimes authors would miss the appointment or be late, and at that moment when the agent is sitting down, a, a writer can come by, can say, "Excuse me, may I just talk for you for talk to you for a second? And then that agent will just say, "Sure, sit down. My appointment hasn't arrived." And there you can pitch your manuscript to that agent. I had the experience because I have a good friend of mine that uh, is very big in Germany, uh, Adele Landauer, and Adele uh, wanted to meet my agent. And uh, I went to the table, uh, I went, you know, I went to the big room, and my agent was sitting there in a table, and the appointment had not arrived. And I said, oh, my, uh, hi, uh, 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 Jane, it wasn't Jane, it was the other young lady. Uh, hi, uh, how are you? And, uh, Look, I have a friend of mine from Germany, and she wants to ask you a couple of questions. Can she do? Can she do that? And and she said, "Yeah, go ahead, sit down." And my friend was able to make the contact, and now they're going to follow up. So now she has a shot of getting a top-notch agent. Well, that okay. sounds like uh, a good Lauren. case. Yeah, a good case uh, of uh, being available no matter what, and to be able to jump and move quickly. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that's a good point. Exactly. Well, uh, of course, we know your books have sold very well, over two and a half million copies of uh, Don't Eat the Marshmallow Yet and Don't Gobble the yep. Marshmallow Ever. You're doing very well. They're excellent books, by the way, I've got to say. And they've done well. But uh, what kind of trends do you see happening now in books uh, in general? If there are any specific trends you see emerging in today's environment? Yes, I see a lot more of, uh, of electronic, digital, uh, downloading books. Uh, I, I think that, that even though I don't think books will ever go away, I do think that there's a tremendous uh, amount of, of interest in people that don't want to be carrying all those books, and they want to carry a Kindle, or they want to carry the Sony machine, uh, and they want to uh, download the books and not have the physical book. So I, I saw that very clearly. Ah, now, does that mean that we're going to see the demise of the paper book uh, sometime in the future? What are your thoughts on that? No, no, I, I don't think that uh, the books will ever disappear. There are people that like to have their book, they like to go to the beach with the book, and, and, uh, and the book will always have a place in, 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 uh, in the world. But I do think that electronics is changing the phase of publishing. I think that publishers have to be now much more effective. They have to be uh, more, uh, they have to choose uh, better books or books that sell. And uh, let me tell you something. I see a very important trend. No big publisher will get a manuscript unless the speaker has a base, unless that speaker has a lot of a lot of engagements with uh, t speaking to a lot of people, where the publisher can have a better shot at selling all the books. So, so yeah. 
that's a benefit for speakers. Yeah, that platform they're much is very more important. Yeah, they're much more ready to sign a speaker uh, with a book than they would someone else that doesn't have a, a platform. Yes, very good point. Well, Joaquim, I know that you have done a lot of things in publishing, obviously with your books, and you've helped a lot of people. If someone wants to get in touch with you and find out about your books and find out about speaking services that you have, what's the best way for them to reach you? Okay, well, the best way they can uh, either call me at my number, which is 787 317 7970. 787 317 7970. Or always come to my website, www.askwakim.com. Askwakim.com, and we got the number there, the Puerto Rico number, of course. Kim, you are a person that I've known for years, and you have given tremendous value to people, and we appreciate your insights there on BEA and what's going on with it as we're talking here over Skype. And I understand this is your first Skype video, so welcome to the world of Skype. I tell you, it's a great, it opens a new world, Harry, as you well say, and as you well coach your clients, and I'm one of your happy clients, uh, I think that that's one of the uh, value added that you offer. You are offering new ways of making money, new ways of communicating, new ways of letting the world know what you do, and uh, you have done it in a way that uh, is very, very inexpensive, very easy to implement, so I think this is a very wonderful new tool for, for speakers and authors. Well, thank you very much, Joaquin, and we will look forward to talking with you. I understand you're leaving uh, tomorrow, heading down to Columbia, where you'll be doing some speaking there as well. Back from New York, you're just bouncing all over, keeping the airlines in business. That's right, that's right, trying to rack up some miles. I'm going to a place called Santa Marta, Colombia, beautiful uh, beach town in, uh, in Colombia. Yeah, some good things happening there. All right, well, Joaquin, have a safe trip, and always good to see you, my friend. We will look forward to uh, hearing from you many more times in the future. Thank you. You take care of yourself.